the way to prevent writing nine different decision statements is to use a loop. Since we know definitely that we have four numbers to sort through, we can use a for loop. We will nest our decision statement inside our for loop. I will be our control variable. We initialize our control variable to zero so that the loop will begin at the first element in the array. Our sentinel value we set to 3 because the greatest subscript value in our array is 3. But we're not finished yet. If we leave this like it is now, we will get the following results. Our for loop determines if the value of i is less than 3. The value of i is 0, therefore i is less than 3, so we enter our loop. Our decision statement determines if the first element is greater than our second element. Eighteen is greater than two, so we execute the decision statement. The value of our first element is assigned to storage value. Our decision statement determines if the value of our first element is greater than the value of our second element. Eighteen is greater than two, so we execute the decision statement. The value of our first element is assigned to our storage value. Notice that nothing has changed in our decision statement. So you would begin again comparing the first element and the second element. Remember that the original values for the first element and the second element were swapped the first time the loop executed. So now we are checking to see if 2 is greater than 18. Two is not greater than 18, so the decision statement is not executed. The decision statement exits and the program reaches the end of the for loop, increments i, and goes back to the beginning to check the condition. If we never change anything in our decision statement, 
we will continue to get the same results until i is no longer less than 3. This is because the first element would never be greater than the second element. To get our loop to go through all the elements in the array, we need to change the subscript values in the condition statement of our decision statement. If we let the first subscript value be i and the second subscript value be i plus 1, we will be able to compare all the numbers in the array. Now we will evaluate our for loop again using our new subscript values. The value of i is 0. Since 0 is less than 3, we enter our for loop. Since i is 0, then numbers i is number 0, and numbers i plus 1 is numbers 0 plus 1, or numbers 1. So the value of numbers i is 18. The value of numbers i plus 1 is 2. The value of numbers i is assigned to storage value. The value of numbers i plus 1 is assigned to numbers i. The value of storage value is then assigned to numbers i plus 1. When the loop executes a second time, i is incremented to 1. i will also increment in our decision statement. Our current arrangement now is 2 in our first element position, 18 in our second element position, 32 in our third element position, and 5 in our fourth element position. Since i is 1, the numbers i is numbers 1, and numbers i plus 1 is numbers 1 plus 1, or numbers 2. So the value of numbers i is now 18. The value of numbers i plus 1 is 32. Eighteen is not greater than thirty-two, so the decision statement is not executed. When the loop executes a third time, i is incremented to two. Since i is 2, the numbers i is numbers 2, and numbers i plus 1 is numbers 2 plus 1, or numbers 3. 
So the value of numbers i is now 32. The value of numbers i plus 1 is 5. 